Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining me for another shave. Uh, today's soap is a soap that I actually wanted for quite some time, at least a couple of years, and for one reason or another, never got around to picking it up. I haven't seen it in the open market, never went to the website, but it appealed to me when I saw the title. I did get to smell it one time, and I knew instantly that I wanted it. And so West Coast Shaving had a mini meetup a couple months ago, and at the store, they happened to have one set, a soap and splash of this particular fragrance, and I thought, can't pass that up, gotta get it, so I did. That fragrance is Uncle John's Pipe Smoke. And so in my wet shaving excursion, I've discovered that tobacco scents are among some of my favorites. Regular tobacco and pipe tobacco are actually two different types of fragrances, but quite similar to some degree. Pipe Smoke in itself has a nice cherry undertone to it, where tobacco, regular tobacco scents have a more masculine, a more pronounced kind of smoky fragrance to it maybe. It just depends, they're all variant just depending on who puts it out but this is a scent that's actually quite nice. It's very smoky, it's very sweet, and it's very fragrant, I really love it. Now, Uncle John uh, says it was established in 2011. I barely discovered him probably maybe two years ago. He arrived on the scene with some notoriety. He's got a decent amount of scents, including some scents that he's done for some Facebook groups, but Pipe Smoke is probably the one that probably catapulted him into fame. Really nice scent, really love it. And what's kind of interesting to me about Uncle John's is when you actually see him, the artisan's name is John Conley, he's got a full beard. So I thought interesting that a man with a full beard would be doing wet shaving products, but he's actually bald, so he shaves his head, so he does wet shave, he just shaves his dome. And so, uh, great soap, I've already used it once, I'm excited to use it here. The soap has been blooming. The texture of the soap is a little different, and you'll find that as you go through uh, your wet shaving excursion yourself, and you try different soaps. Some of them have a nice um, kind of peaky texture to it, if uh, the pour was done that way. Some of them are kind of flat and smoothed out, that's the way Uncle John's soaps are. Barrister Man does their soaps that way. There's a few other artisans that kind of smooth their tops off. Some of them do just the regular pour and it comes out how it comes out. So if texture is a big thing to you, you can kind of take a look at the different things and see which ones you like. The other thing I'm excited about today is I got a razor back that I haven't had since I first started wet shaving and I really loved it and I decided to get a variant version of it and that is the Edwin Jagger DE89, but I got the 3D diamond handle. So this is a really, really nice handle. Um, it does up the cost a little bit to get a handle like this, but the knurling is great. Aesthetically, it looks wonderful. And so this is the, the razor I got today. But the reason I don't have the actual head on it, the cap with the base plate, is because I did want to show you some of the differences on the base plates that they make. So if you can see it there, Edwin Jagger's logo is those English shields. And I think it's kind of cool that they put those on the base plate. So I was excited to show that to you for some reason. And so there you have it. So I'm gonna load a fresh Persona Lab Blue Blade in there. And go ahead and commence with the load. Commence with the shave. Really excited about this one, especially going into winter. Pipe tobacco fragrances just seem to be so appropriate. All right, so for the brush today, going with my turn and shave. This is his smoke handle. I thought with a pipe smoke scent, this would be appropriate. It's got a 26 millimeter boss one of my favorite knots. Gonna wet that, got the soap blooming. Let's get down to it. The last video I did, I beat my record. I got it under 20 minutes. And I'm resolved to do that same thing today. All right, gonna load up the soap. Now this is after it's been bloomed, but you can see, I'll show you in the back, it's a brown soap. On the top, it's a little bit lighter because it's been blooming. But it's nice and flat. The tub is clear, it's nice. This is the only Uncle John soap that I have. Like I said, I usually have about, I have about five artisans that I buy from primarily. Um, this is a scent, man, I, it's, the scent is hopping out of the container. I really love it. If you love tobacco scents, pipe tobacco, you're gonna love this one. Um, Uncle John has a decent amount of scents in his line. Like I said, he's done some face, uh, Facebook group scents. He's got a cucumber scent, I think a cotton scent. He's got uh, a, a coffee scent. I did get to smell that at West Coast Shaving. It's called Roasted, and it smells just like you opened a bag of coffee beans. It's, it's pretty great. If you want to smell like that all day, that's really the key. So you may want the soap and not the splash. But this soap and this splash is so fragrant. And there is um, 
something to say about the soap and splash combination. Now, I've told you about that before with PAA, how there's a little bit of a variant and it's an experience. And you'll see with this one here, the soap is a little more sweet and the actual splash itself is more smoky. And when they come together, it's a, it's a pretty good marriage. All right, I think I've got a decent load in there. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the face. Still very warm here in Southern California. We're at the end of September. As some of you know, I'm not a hot weather guy by any means. It's because I'm, I always feel like I'm hot. And so the summer just amplifies that and aggravates it. I love the fall. I love the winter. I love Christmas. So I'm excited. But this scent is awesome for cold weather. If you're one of those guys that really likes to pair your scents and fragrances to the time of year it is or the season that it is, you can do that. I try to pretend that I don't do that, but I think subliminally I do do it. And inadvertently I do it. So this is a tallow-based soap as well. And I do have something I need to say about that in a second. Performs well, as well as you'd expect the tallow-based soap to perform. Now while I'm loading, there is something I do want to say that I've discovered recently. I'm really starting to fall off that tallow makes everything better wagon. Um, tallow is a nice ingredient. I've never been, that I can remember, disappointed with a tallow-based soap. But I'm finding for face feel and for composition and for just overall performance and post-shave, I get a much better experience with non-animal fat soaps. Now, I don't know if I can really say that all the way. There are a couple of tallow-based soaps um, that have dried out my skin or irritate my skin. But with some of the, as I was assessing a lot of my favorite artisans, most of them are vegan formulas. And I didn't realize that till the other day. One of them being oleo is duck fat, and that's a really nice ingredient, and that's a wonderful performing soap. But I'm just finding it, you know, that argument that continues to go on in the community about how tallow is better, tallow makes everything more robust, more voluminous, more this, more that, I just, haven't seen that vegan basis fail to do any of that. So, I mean, I gotta say something about the soap. I mean, I'm almost done lathering. I'm, I'm like, I've got the lather where I like it to be. And literally just, you saw how quick I did that on my face. So you gotta give the soap kudos for that. Anyway, that's my two cents. Just as I've been going through this and trying different soaps, I, I find that there's a lot of vegan soaps that can be just as voluminous, can give you a nice post shave feel, give you wonderful slickness, can be robust, can be fragrant, can be all the things that you expect them to be, and some of them provide really nice post shave. Just saying, my goodness, this soap just lathered up like a dream. I'm gonna add a tad bit more water, but my goodness, I can probably just use this. In fact, it's so good, I'm not even gonna brush it in, I'm just gonna kinda stroke the extra water in. But look at that. Good job, John. I don't remember that from the last time. I've only shaved with this soap one other time. But my gosh, it's creamy. It's thick. It's falling off on my shirt. There goes my neatness thing from the last video. But my gosh, it's, it's shave ready. And I just did one go around on my face. So if you get a chance, go to West Coast Shaving site. You could check out John's other soaps. I've got a chance to smell some of them. This is the one I just, I wanted it. It was there. It was the only one left. There was a good number of guys there at the actual meetup and I didn't want one of them to snatch it. So I picked it up. Super impressed at how fast the soap lathered up. And because I'm so resolved to actually get my videos under 20 minutes, so that you guys don't fall asleep on me or just pass my video up. That's a good thing. Really impressed with that feature, especially for today. I got a ton to do, which I always do. And I got to hit the road after this nice quick shave. Nice to get the lather to build like that. 
it seems like the soap itself, I mean, it's super slick. It seems like the soap itself retains a lot of water on impact. And so as you initiate it, as the, the inception of the actual swirling, when you're adding the moisture in there, it seems like it retains a lot of it and then dispenses it on your face. There are soaps that I have that, uh, I've got to add a tremendous amount of water to because it's so pasty and it takes a while to actually get hydrated and get that volume going. But I am loving this fragrance. And here's the problem about wet shaving is, it's not really a problem, but you start to get so many soaps and scents that you actually start to forget what you like about certain scents because maybe you haven't used it in six months or three months or whatever the case may be. So once in a while I'll pull soap just like this, you'll pull a soap out and you'll forget certain things about it until you smell it again. If you've never tried a DE89, it drives me nuts when people say it's an entry-level razor and stuff. It, it's a razor. Um, and Edwin Jagger, just like Mula, makes some really nice products. They put a lot of TLC into the finishing of these products. The weight on this razor is quite remarkable. It's not really heavy, but it's not light either. And you can see how beautiful that handle is. The knurling is fantastic. The old DE89s were just like straight lines. Um, they, did, they didn't really have a lot of knurling. They weren't very grippy. But this razor, just the, aesthetically, like I said, it's beautiful but it's a nice weight, almost like a, like a Mont Blanc pen or something. I mean, just that beautiful balance. It's not too heavy. I don't like it when razors feel like you're putting a slab of metal on your face and just letting it drag. Um, it's just, it's, it's a very useful tool. It's very efficient. And so if you haven't picked up one of these, the Mula 89 is very similar too. So if you pick that up, either way, you can't go wrong. I do have a Mula 89 as well, or a R89. I actually have the head only on that and I put it on a, um, a different handle. But I gotta tell you, I used to think the heads were the same. I get a much more comfortable shave with this head. Just saying. I'm really loving this fragrance. I could smell it all over the place. And I hope that's the way my bathroom smells when I leave. Nice. The shave is moving right along. Super impressed at how that lathered up, how quickly and efficiently it did. Going back to the brush, you can see there's still a ton of lather in this brush. As you all know, I really love synthetics. I love their efficiency. I love how just soft they are on your face. I love how quickly they lather up. Luxurious. And you have so many options for synthetic these days. Nice, creamy lather, love this. And the fragrance is just going straight up my nostrils. Love it. That's to me for wet shaving. This is all part of the experience. I mean, why we do what we do. Lathering is fun to me. Safety razors are fantastic. And the fragrances, they're just, it's a nice way to treat yourself in the morning. All right, cross-grained. I have missed this razor. 
I decided to pull the trigger on this uh, last month. I picked it up from West Coast Shaving. And uh, just a beautiful razor. All the things I already explained to you about it. Super comfortable. And to me, that's what it's all about in the morning. Now, just in my assessment, in this shave, it actually is more comfortable to me than the R89. I always thought they were the same thing. But I have them both. And this one has been a much more comfortable experience. R89 is really good too. But it just feels like I don't feel the blade as much on this razor as I do on the R89. But that's just me. But I have the R89 and I like it. In fact, I think I featured it in one of these videos. All right. I may or may not need my cleanup pass. We'll see. Still a ton of lather in this thing. Look at that. You know, I'm really impressed with this soap. Usually, just depending on the soap and how much water I add, sometimes I'll get ghosting on subsequent passes, like third or fourth maybe. Sometimes second even, just depending on the soap texture. But this one is thick. It's cr I love the creaminess of this soap. There are some jewels out there, I gotta tell you, in the artisan world where, I mean, there's a lot of artisans that just, they are well known for what they do and they get a lot of publicity for it. And then there's artisans that just, I don't know, they just really don't promote themselves or maybe folks haven't tried them. And then you try it and you're like, oh my gosh, how come I didn't know about this soap? And this is one of those soaps. Like I said, this is the only Uncle John's that I have. But this scent is amazing. I, I think I've said that like three or four times already and that's because it is. It's a really great scent. If you like tobacco scents. This is one of those shaves that I'm absolutely loving. It's comfortable, it's enjoyable, and it's moving right along. Also, the way that my mustache grows in, it's like this way, this kind of an angle. And if I can't go up with, if the razor's too aggressive for me to go up with, I typically don't like to use it. This one is not that aggressive. My goodness, this is comfortable. And you see that? I can keep going over it and over it and over it and over it. Slickness is still there. This is a really good soap. I gotta smell some more of the scents. Maybe I want more. Wait till you see the aftershave bottle. All right, I'm gonna do a small cleanup and be done. They do feel a little bit of stubble here and there. I gotta do my double chin. I gotta do that angle right under my nose to get those hairs but I am impressed with this soap. Still quite a bit of lather, as you can see. That's impressive. And again, you saw the amount of time I spent lathering it on my face. It was no time at all. Look at that. As I've said in other videos, and sometimes I make the mistake of not taking my own advice, when you do that, don't pull hard on the knot. I know in the videos, it looks like we're squeezing the heck out of it. Um, and I squeeze that a little harder than I should have right now. 
thankfully the knot's still in there. I mean, the epoxy they use and stuff is, is really good. I've not seen a knot come out, but I've heard that over time, um, if it starts to weaken and other factors, oh my gosh, this soap is awesome. Okay. Again, we talked about in previous videos mapping out your face so you know what angles you need to use on your face, which way your hair grows. I've seen different shavers do different things to their face just because they've mapped their face out that way. This Paul H thing though, that I learned a couple years ago, really saves the day. It helps me get those hairs on my neck that just can't seem to get. This has been an awesome shave. Oh my gosh, a big old glop of lather just landed on my shirt because it's still that thick and voluminous. Now I will sometimes, just depending if I miss a spot, I'll keep the lather on the hand that I like, you know, I use my right to shave with, so I'll keep lather on this hand if I need to reapply. It's almost like an artist palette that paints. I'm not an artist, but you know what I mean. Love it. So, I guess the moral of the story is get Uncle John's soap. That was pretty good. I don't, I, I tried this once before and I think because I had somewhere to go or whatever it was, maybe I was in a hurry when I used it. The fragrance is pronounced, it is robust. And it is just so pleasant. Post shave's good. Slickness was great. You already know how I feel about how it lathered up. Pretty awesome. This was one fantastic shave. I'm glowing right now. Even if you can't see it, I feel it internally. This actually improved my mood. <laughs> All right, here it is folks. Here's the splash, different type of bottle, I like it. Kind of goes down right here, nice long neck. And it's white, so you do have to mix it up a little bit, but I heard that's because of the aloe vera content. But the splash, different than the soap. It's a lot more smoky. where the soap was more sweet and fragrant. This is more of a smoky texture, or smoky fragrance rather. It's kind of a nice compliment to one another. I wonder if he did that on purpose. Definitely more of a smoky fragrance in that splash. All right, folks, that's a wrap for me. Uncle John's Pipe Smoke, get it. Awesome soap. Edwin Jagger, DE89, 3D Diamond Handle, Persona Lab Blue Blade, love this razor, glad I got it. Turn and Shave, Smoke Brush, and of course, I polished it off with the matching splash. Guys, thanks again for being with me. I hope you have a wonderful week. God bless you all, until next time.